What's up, Crypto Muscle? Coming to you with another YouTube video. Yeah, international now. We're watching kids. This is where it's at. Crypto Muscle and Crypto Muscle Network. Coming to you with another video. Check it out. All right, this is the Crypto Muscle Network, right? This is the Crypto Muscle Legacy over here. And you know what's funny? My Legacy channel started my uh, you know path towards uh, you know gaining crypto in this space. And um, that was with CFX. So, you know, I stayed with CFX till beginning of 2021. All right. When I started seeing signs of uh, just things slowing down, you know, in general. And it might have been peak time, too, at that time. But like I said, people thought I was crazy for uh, leaving or just, I guess, saying just cycling it out and then just stepping out and say, I'm done, right? People thought I was crazy. They're saying, oh, man, you're leaving money on the table, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, I don't know, maybe a little bit, but I didn't have that that sort of upper echelon capability. I remember back then, uh, the legendary Oracle, all right, when he was in Cash Effects 2, and around that same time frame, he could easily, I mean, top out. And then he would sit there and figure out, man, should I do it again? Try to try to get it, get it back in again and take it out. And I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not you. I mean, I wish I could be you and handle it like that. And then he would just go back in and easily cycle it out. And then after that, I think he did it maybe another one one or two more times during that year in 2021 before he said, all right, I think I'm, I'll be done with this too, you know? And, uh, I mean, just cycling out big money too, huge money. And then, you know, the residuals that we would get, you know, you hit the withdraw button, it'll just be stuck in pending mode. And, uh, you know, and the rest is history, right? Because now, since 2022, it's been, shit, well over a year and a half. And it has not paid out, obviously, right? I mean, that's a known, a known commodity, a known factor. It has not paid out since January 2022. So I got out a year early. And uh, the weeks kept on stacking up on how long it takes for withdrawals to come out. You know, it started with days to a week to two weeks. And just kept getting longer and longer. Every time you hit a withdrawal, it just seemed like it just got longer and longer and longer. And... You know, one of the things you'll never forget is when Kinnear would say, we're going to get everybody caught up by the end of the year. And this was like beginning December when he was in his hotel room, you know, doing a Zoom call in his hotel room. <laughs> and uh, it was just funny, though. This the, the times when you look back at this stuff. I wonder how the office in Panama is looking right now. Uh, you know, we sh we, someone should go down there and try, try to see what it looks like in Panama right now. It's probably just empty it out because, you know, it's just set up probably, you know, and, you know, set up for the event and things like that. And then after that, they cleaned it out. But yeah, someone should try to pay that place a visit just to try to see if it's occupied by someone else or if it's still occupied by CFX but empty or what is it, you know. That's just funny how things are. Uh, but one thing I could say about cash effects is that it has catapulted me to uh, where I am today. You know, if it wasn't for cash effects, I don't know uh, where I would be because, you know, I did start at the very beginning. And because I was at the very beginning with a lot of and I was new on YouTube at the time. I wasn't new in crypto, but uh, I was new on YouTube at the time. So that catapulted me to uh you know levels to uh you know where i smashed that sense but it, it, it catapulted me up you know to just being a mere nothing to at least being something right in this space and so um and then of course i you know gave myself an identity of who i am in this space because um Besides cash effects, well, you know, I, I try to look at things 
uh, a little bit more cynically, right? Because of the lessons learned from the token platforms past with all those bloods out there. All they do is just leech on you and suck the blood out of you. Yeah, you know, those former YouTubers you don't even see no more out there, right? The Tiwis, the, the Clovers, the Bitsaways, you know, PJ3s, you name them, right? Kinetic Energy, Crypto Austin, all these, all these losers that are no longer in the space. You know why? Because, well, shit, they wiped themselves out of this space. And um, but that's a whole different story. So after lear lear you know, lessons learned from those token platforms past, because that's where they originate from, all those token platforms, then came CFX, catapulted me to where I'm at, helped me lost, recover my lost, my losses, I'm sorry, my losses. Because I was about 13000 in the hole when I jumped into cash effects with the $500 CFX pack, right? And then, uh, like I said, the rest is history, man. By the time I got out of Cash FX, uh, outside of the residuals, I know I, I cashed out about seventy thousand dollars. I mean, to be able to, you know, earn through progression and uh, just, you know, sharing the opportunity when it was great at the time, it dug me out of my thirteen thousand dollar hole paid that off and you know set me up for the future you know to where I'm at now and you know it, you don't just rest on it you continue forward with it right and that's what I did I continued to just look for the opportunities and make it and take it and just really give information as it comes all right that's what I do I like to give information as it comes and that's the whole thing missing in this space you know, when shit hits the fan, well, shit, let people know about it. Let people know the reality of what's going on. There, There's people to this day that still don't know what's going on with Novatech. Novatech's done, right? But um, there's others out there that did not know what was going on. You know, I would, I would sit there and just kept pounding away about how Novatech's trash is done. Look what they're doing. Look what they're doing. Then you would have Team Diamond in Cash FX. Sitting out there still recruiting, recruiting, recruiting. And it's like, hey, are you telling these people what's going on here? That there's there's shit hitting the fan, there's trouble in the waters. And no, you get, then you see all this news of all these people putting in a shitload of money. And oh, and they're going to get a bonus on top of that. And man, that's such a disservice, man. Screw those people over. Same thing with CFX. All right. Over time, people started falling off. But you still had a lot of people talking about how great CFX is, is and all that stuff, right? And I was just watching, blown away by that, right? Like that uh, douchebag on autopilot who since now took down all his cash of X videos. But man, when I was talking about stacking and pending withdrawals, going at least 16 weeks deep pending, that dumbass with his dumbass girlfriend... Right, he had to get a foreign girlfriend because she doesn't understand shit. So that way he could just like pull the wool over her eyes and fool her into thinking he's making money, but he really isn't. Sitting there saying how great Cash FX is, and if you want to talk about it, you know, hit me up and all this other stuff. Look, guys, I'm just cashing out today. Another, you know, ten thousand dollar payday and all this other stuff. And man, how stupid and foolish does he look now? Because it's been pending all this time, and he finally took down all his videos. Like a little bitch. And look what happens, right? Same thing. Even ball-headed dildo today. One fell off. Still got one more left. Still talk, Still tracking his CFX journey to this day. Not once a week like he used to. He's kind of backed off the coverage of it. Once a month. Always have excuses, right? <laughs> he, he had so many excuses just to do a five-minute video once a month. Oh, I'm moving now, you know. How about this? Cash of X is not doing anything. It's a waste of time. That's why the reason why I'm only doing a five minute video a month. Saying that he doesn't have time and stuff. He's, you know, whatever. You don't have time to make a five minute video, dude. Dude, man, I work a full time job. Still cranking out two to five videos a day. 15 minute, two second videos, seven days a week. Still doing that shit. You know, so that's true dedication. 
But anyhow, man, cash effects, man. This thing is all is all but dead, right? It's already dead. And they're right, they're just waiting to move on into. <laughs> hey, guess what? July first and uh, quarter two is over. This is now the third quarter of the year just started, and yet still no AP2C, right? And let's see latest news on anything coming out. Cash of XC update regarding any pending issues with accounts at this time. All issues must be sent to the support. Uh, the minute we get proof of debit card by anyone on the team, we'll post it here in the group. <laughs> Lots of laughing faces there. Because, you know, people know it's a joke. All right, let's see here. And then all this stuff about, you know, words of the wise and all that stuff. No one gives a shit about that. Let's see what else they got going on here. Uh, we hope this email finds you well. We would like to extend our sincerest apologies for the delay in the communications from the company. This is from Cash of X. Uh, was this like three, four days ago? Um, we deeply are sorry our inconvenience may have caused and appreciate your patience and understanding. We are pleased to inform you that our company has recently finished implementing a new payment system that will ensure a more efficient and streamlined process for transferring funds to our value members. Yeah, this note was posted everywhere. Anybody that was in Cash of X, everybody posted this note. Uh, so this is something that may be coming, right? Um, this system has undergone thorough testing and has been successfully piloted by our company leaders. We are now excited to make it available to all our CFX members to facilitate and expedite this transition. We kindly request you to update your profile details, specifically your full name, current address, mobile number, and ID or passport number. This is essential to ensure the debit card through uh, which we will be issuing your payments is delivered securely to your doorstep and with the correct information. Please log into your back office and navigate the profile section. Uh, once you've received uh, your debit card, you will be provided with detailed instructions on how to activate it using your KYC process. Uh, for those members who have already completed the KYC verification, this step will not be necessary. We'll be sending the update emails regarding details and instructions during this process. We understand that this may require a few additional minutes of your time. <laughs> well, a lot of people that's in cash with have nothing but time. Uh, but we assure you that this new payment method will offer you greater convenience and reliability. We also enable us to promptly process your commissions and all that stuff. Thank you for your and the CFX corporate team. Um, well, I mean, when you look at it, though, it's like, you know, it's been an ongoing thing. All right. So, yeah, they, they said the email is legit, real, whatever. But. Uh, it says for the USA people, this is from the directors group, so um, let's see. For the USA people, stand by as we're waiting on info on what to do or if they'll update it. Because as you know, it's been, anybody in USA and Canada has been bumped out, uh, new members wise, at back in beginning of, of uh, 2020. It was either 2020 or 2021. Actually, it was 2021 because I remember uh, if I had to upgrade, I would have to turn on my VPN because they wanted everybody to be bumped out. Uh, that you were grandfathered in initially, but you couldn't upgrade it. And obviously, you could with a VPN. And um, any new members could not be from Canada or US. And of course, you would have to turn on your VPN at the time if you wanted to do that. Uh, but yeah, you can see that this KYC thing is like a, a year long process. Uh, that's still a year in, in the making of, uh, just nothing going on. So the never card has not come and still not coming. And that's where it's at right now. No talk of AP2C. They're talking about this debit card like a year later, still talking about it. And this whole KYC stuff that's dating back to that time. So uh, all I got to say is, uh, yeah, <laughs> keep waiting because nothing's coming. So uh, other than that, I guess all we got to do is hang on and, uh, to nothing. So that's your latest Cash FX news as I always bring it to you guys. Uh, I would say the only last one standing to talk about all this stuff. That's fine. I don't mind. I, I just want to just see this thing through to its very, very last nail in the coffin so that's that and uh other than that comment down below let me know what you think about this latest news and i'll see you next one